10 days off, rare luxury. Um, <laughs> how are the boys feeling? Do you have a full squad to select from aside from the long-term injuries? Um, yeah, aside from the long-term injuries, the same sort of players available that were available in Tasmania. So it was good It was good to have those, uh, it wasn't really 10 days off, but 10 days between games because able to prepare for a, a big week because we've got three games in a week again. Um, and then, you know, it was a tough trip to Tasmania because it was two games in four days. So um, happy that we had to, time to recover and ready for this big week of ours. So I'm guessing Diamante is still on the long-term injury release. Yeah, yes. Any indication on when he'll be back? No indication at all. Um, coming up against the Mariners, they've obviously got a ton to play for. You have a ton to play for. What do you need to do to get a win? It's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting for, for both teams and both clubs because, yeah, they're, they're you know, obviously playing for top six and we're playing to still be challenging in that final round of the season. And um, so, look, we know it's a difficult game. They, they've got uh, very good players going forward. Um, but we know that if we play at our best, we can cause them problems as well, even away from home. So we're, you know, ready for the game. We're excited. Uh, we know their strengths. And, um, and you know, we also know our strengths. So um, I think it's going to be one of the more exciting games of the, the round, I think. You mentioned the Tassie trip being difficult, obviously, in terms of opponents. In terms of bringing the squad together after that tough loss against Wellington, Lockie Wells was speaking a few days ago saying it was really good for bringing the squad together. I guess how important is that heading into, you know, getting yourself back on track and easy parts? Yeah, the, the good thing is that the boys love being around each other and they love being together and, and, they, and also it gives them time to, to chat about, you know, things and chat about, you know, probably what... Uh, they felt went wrong as well against Wellington, um, but you know the mood. Well, I mentioned that after the Wellington game, it completely changed, and uh, you know the training, the intensity, and then the way that everyone was focused, and uh, and it was no different this week. It was, uh, you know, the boys are, are ready and, and know that it's a uh, uh, it's a big week for us. And then the first of all, the the game against the Mariners is going to be a, a difficult and tough one, but ready for it and trained really well. Is it a similar itinerary this week? Are you guys on the road for the, the majority? Yeah, of the we're on the road for the majority of the week. We're we're staying in uh, in New South Wales. Uh, yeah, as of today until we come back Thursday, and then have a quick turnaround and uh, rest up for the the next trip to Adelaide. But um, that that's not a long one. But yeah, so that uh, we'll be there for five days. Premiership race still in your hands. You've had a lot of time to think about it since your last game. The boys have had a lot of time to think about it. Is it? becoming a bit more real? Is it becoming a topic in the dressing room? I don't know if it's a topic in the dressing room. We haven't spoken about it as a group. Um, I haven't mentioned that, you know, that we have to win these three games to win the Premiership. It's more about let's, you know, make sure that we're ready for the Mariners game because there's no use in looking at the Newcastle game, um, you know, because that's you know, three days later. Uh, we want to make sure that we get the result that we want and uh, you know but it's all about the process and preparation for that game and uh, you know, because you, you don't know what's going to happen in a game of football there's there's many things that can can happen so as long as we're prepared and, and that uh, we play at our best then you know we believe that we can get the result we'd like three games um three games in seven day in seven, uh, eight days you know before finals how do you go about balancing you know trying to prevent injuries and managing game time compared to going for the minor premiership yeah, look, it's uh, it's been something that we've prepared all season for because we've had to deal with it all season. Um, when we've had those, you know, short turnarounds and the, you know, a certain amount of games in in a short period, and you know, some players can deal with it better than other players, and uh, some players can back up quickly. And, you know, we we had the luxury of being able to uh, take off players against Perth. Whether that's going to be the same this week, I don't know because, again, you don't know what uh, the games are going to go like, but. We've um, we've trained really well, and so we've been able to give the boys, uh, you know, some good recovery, but then also some hard sessions, so they're they're ready to play three games in eight days. At, at this point in the season, um, with not long to go, can you can you rule Diamante out for the whole season? Yeah, it's going to be touch and go for him to get back. Yeah. And do you have a preferred home ground for the finals? Are we going into it? No. Has there no been... preferred home ground because we've played everywhere. You know, we've, we've, we've played five different stadiums we, uh, as our home ground. Um, we, we're happy to play anywhere. Um, I don't know where it will be because that's something that the APL were working through with the, with the club. They haven't given us, the, you know, that it's going to be at this ground. But I'm, I'm not worried about where we play. Do you guys have it's a bit odd. Surely the, you've had some indication, Amy, because can't use Skidinia, obviously, because of Geelong. Mm. 
You haven't had any indication at all about where your home games would be? No played? indication. They haven't given us the go-ahead of where it will be. Do you, do you have a preference? Obviously, you might play Victory or City. Do you want to get away from Amy Park? No, no. Well, we've played them there and we've beaten City and we drew a Victory last game there. So it's for us, it's the same. It's the same. Whether we play there, Marvel, I don't know if Marvel's available. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Unless um, it's a Marvel, it's a real It's AFL on, so yeah. I might have to Yeah, so that. look, I, I don't know. The, the, it doesn't really bother me too much because we're, we've actually, and I don't think it bothers the players. Look, we're, we're understanding of where we're at as a club. We, we know that uh, at the moment we haven't got a home stadium. We're on this journey. We're going to get a home stadium uh, soon. Um, we, we know that at the moment we haven't got the crowd of you know City or especially Victory, so we deal with it and, and we'll deal with it wherever we have to play. And there's no preference of ground for you guys? No. And you mentioned the Amanti might not be coming back this season, but Josh Rooster, is there a chance that he might be back in time yeah. this year? Yeah, yeah. Back on the track, I think this yeah, yeah. Josh, Josh is pretty close, um, so which is good. His, um, his recovery has been excellent and um, he's moving well, he's in good spirits, so he'll definitely be back presuming uh, finals, um, if not, maybe before. And you've obviously played the Mariners this weekend. You saw him only a few weeks ago, a really tough game in Ballarat, and obviously they've got a lot to play for. What sort of things are you expecting from this title? What things can you take out of that last meeting? They're very direct. They're very direct, but they've got good players up top. Um, you know, I don't need to name them because uh, you know all front four. Uh, you know, but they're, they're probably you know as good as any in the league. So we know that. Um, but then we defensively, we when we're at our best, we're probably one of the best at the back. Um, but we're also good going forward. We scored 14 goals in the last five games. It's pretty good going. You know, so we're as good as anyone going forward now as well. When we we knew that, we knew that it will take time for us to get that. But we're hitting our straps at the right time and, uh, and we're, we're creating chances, we're scoring goals and it's not just one person, we've got multiple goal scorers now. So, you know, not many people talk about that too much because everyone spoke about our defensive structures. So, but we're, we're quite happy, we know that we can still improve more and you know, that's where we're at at the moment. This time of year, we've seen this morning, Arthur Pappas announced his re-signing with the Jets, re-signings of players, coaches. Do you have any announcements in the pipeline around players coming back? Um, have I got another two years, Lucy? Extra two on top? Absolutely. Ten years. Uh -huh. <laughs> if that's official, I'll write it. No, 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 nothing yet. No, 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 no. None of the boys? No, no, no none of the boys at the moment. I think we're pretty full at the moment, so, so no, nothing to give you. No news.